everybody, QuestWise here, and uh, I just, I'm here at the painting desk in the studio. Um, I quickly kind of cleared off some stuff because I, I got this in the mail today, and I just kind of want to give you a brief, brief look at it. Um, uh, this is the uh, Dungeons and Dragons Gazetteer. Uh, it's, it's Gazetteer number three in their line that they used to do uh, from TSR, and I was never privy to these. I never found these in my local area. Uh, I was never able to pick them up when I in my early days of gaming, and I'm so happy that you can now get most of them uh, print on demand at Drive Through RPG, and that's what I've been doing. I've been um, gathering a little bit of credit on Drive Through RPG, and uh, when I do get enough, I usually order another one of these in the series, and I, and I might go back and I might show you all the ones that I've collected or, or do them as I collect them. Maybe kind of like a little small mini-series type of a thing, but I just kind of wanted to show you the, the sort of quality you're going to get if you'd like to get a copy of this for yourself. If you're like me, you've never had it before, or maybe you have the originals, but you want a play copy or something that you can read. You don't want to damage your originals. Um, so, like I said, this is the D&D uh, &D Gazetteer, The Principalities of Galantry. Uh, it's by Bruce Hurd. Um, as you can see, the, the print quality of the cover is really, really gorgeous. Uh, I got a little bit of glare from the light here, but uh, it's very, the color saturation is beautifully done. Very, very nice. And I'll show you the back here as well. So, as you can see, it's very crisp, it's very clear, um, and uh, very well done on behalf of, I think, print on demand stuff is coming a long way since I uh, first started doing it. Uh, and I, I, I really prefer, not that these are available in hardcover, but uh, I prefer to get uh, print-on-demand books in paperback only because I feel like the binding is a little better. The, the quality sometimes from drive through RPG for hardcover stuff is not the greatest. They're not sewn bindings, they're just glued, and, and, and I feel like they're not the greatest of quality when it comes to hardcovers. But paperbacks, uh, very, very well done. It's it's still a glued binding, but still very well done, very very clean, very clear, crisp. Uh, the interior is the same way. Like the print quality is very clear. It's very very nice. Um, even the maps, you know, with a lot of the hex uh, uh, geography and stuff on them, has come out extremely clear. It's not blurry at all. Uh, none of that stuff. Um, shifted it all during printing or during scanning so it looks very nice and i've been very happy with this series overall even the borders uh, running along the top and bottom are really really nice very very clear just like the originals uh the ones that i have seen anyway but uh this is uh one that i've never uh, I, to be honest with you i'd never i'd never uh seen this one before i had never experienced this the gameplay of this particular um uh gazetteer uh, but i bought it mainly because of the cover i think the cover is uh, utterly amazing it's just a beautiful piece of cover art and uh, i've always been enthralled by this when i bought the card set back in the day uh, these this these characters were in one of those card sets and i was always intrigued by where this piece of art came from uh, and so when i saw it i was like yeah i gotta have this even if even if the book sucks um I'd, I'd still want this just on my shelf because of the beautiful cover art. Um, now, and I don't know. I haven't, like I said, I just got this in the mail today, so I haven't even... I did buy the the combo of the PDF and the print-on-demand copy. I do that a lot, uh, just in case. So I have an extra copy if I need to reference it off my laptop or my, my tablet. Uh, but I really prefer to have a hard copy. I'm kind of old school in that regard, is that I like to have paper copies at the table but I can always read it on my phone or my laptop if I'm on the go somewhere and I don't have this with me so I really don't even know what's in this book much I didn't look at the PDF very much I kind of flipped through it really quickly um, so I don't really even know what's what this province is about this area of the world uh, in this old these old um, uh, uh, gazetteers are like um, but it looks really cool and I'm, I'm really intrigued so um, I believe these all take place in what they call the known world. Uh, and so uh, they all sort of fit together to kind of chronicle the entire um, setting uh, if you if you get them all together. Uh, they always start off with sort of a little historical synopsis of the area and the region. And it goes into things about like 
the wildlife and the sort of uh, the rulers and the people of the land and stuff. Also, you can kind of see here too, there's this sort of like hourglass sort of superimposed in the background and it doesn't affect the print at all. The, the print itself is very bold and stands out very well. I was afraid when I looked at the PDF that this might be a little overbearing uh, with the scan of it. Uh, and I was afraid that it would make this, this these sections within the hourglass, this sort of tan background, uh, hard to read, but it's really not. It stands out really well. I'm very impressed with that. Population goes in the economy. These are sort of, they're, uh, they do have some adventure stuff in them, and they do have things like new spells. They do have things like new uh, magical items and whatnot, and, and usually some NPCs that are set out. But they're more, far and above, they're more of a sort of uh, like an atlas of the region. So it goes into things like economy, and it goes into things like um, the, the, the diversity of, of animals and people in the region as well. So it's, they're, they're very fun. They're not maybe so great at the table, but they're very, very good at this background material for Dungeon Masters. So you can see the breakdown of this principality here of uh, Clantier, Clantire. Uh, gives you the surface population or surface um, area in, in miles or how many hexes, the population and people. Uh, talks about two major uh, towns or villages. So it, it's a really, really nice background material. It's like reading a sort of, or sort of an old atlas or um, you know a, a, a history of the regions. Uh, of something you might find in like your you know grandparents' house, but uh, all also very very great artwork interior wise. Again, very crisp, very clear. Um, a lot of this art, um, and I can't remember the artist's name right now. I probably could have looked it up before I started the video, but I I neglected that and I apologize. But this is the same artist who did a lot of work for Ravenloft in Second Edition. So if you like that kind of art, this is kind of scattered throughout with that same style of art. It's sort of a softer style of art, very evocative. It reminds me a lot of like sort of a renaissance of drawing in that regard. Um, I like the sort of style that they're going with this particular, uh, this the particular region, this particular sort of area of, of Glantry. It has a sort of like Middle Eastern slash uh, Far East kind of feel to it, right? So it has this sort of this guy definitely has a feel of sort of a, a Mongol conqueror Khan kind of figure. Um, some of these folks here have a very Middle Eastern kind of vibe to them. Uh, this guy up here almost has like a French aristocrat kind of feel. Uh, but, but really, really well done. I, I think the artwork in these uh, it definitely is worth the price of admission. Um, these are fun to read. I really enjoy sort of um, kicking back when I have time and sort of enjoying kind of delving into this world a little bit even when I'm not preparing for a game uh, which this will be immensely useful uh, for if you're doing a game set in Glantry uh, to have this sort of background to give the give the game a little bit more depth when the characters are interacting with these these NPCs that land this land uh, this region of thing to give that sort of a more of a a, a a a deeper feel to the game by just knowing some of the geography knowing some of the geopolitical infighting and intrigue that's going on in the regions and stuff as well. I'm quickly flipping through here. Again, this is just sort of a, a, a quick look at the at what you're going to get if you order these from Drive-Thru RPG. And I'll put a link down below. Um, I am an affiliate with them as well too, so you know if you want to click on the link down below and get a copy for yourself, even if it's PDF or if you get the combo uh, with the print-on-demand copy, um, it gives me a little bit of credit back, and I take all the credit from Drive Through RPG. Every penny I get, I don't ever cash it out. I use it just to buy more stuff like this for the channel to kind of show you. Uh, again, goes into guilds and brotherhoods, the Canine Protection Society. It's just really cool stuff, right? The the Elven Liberation Front. You know that's cool. Uh, I'm excited to read more about that. See what's going on there. But again, more great artwork. Beautifully, beautifully done. Uh, the maps in here, when I was flipping through it when I first got it, again, are beautiful. Very nice, very crisp, very clear. What you'd expect to get in the original. Um, these are obviously all hand-drawn uh, originally, um, but very beautiful. The skin right out of the gate is highly impressive. I've, I've actually bought a few things from Drive-Thru RPG in the past. 
where the the text has been fuzzy or the maps are really blurry um, and it's just because of the, the it was a bad scan of the original and there's not really much they can do about it some I've contacted them a few times on products um, if they could replace it they did uh, they're very good about that kind of stuff uh, but a lot of times when they get a bad scan then they're just printing from it, that scan there's not much they can do about it they will refund you your money um, and generally let you keep the product as well but that's really up to their decision so it goes through uh, this this section is called Glantry City by Night and it's going through section every section of this particular city so this is the middle class quarter and it goes through and gives you details on each of those but, uh, check the link out down below and if you'd like to get one of these for yourself uh, you can do so on drive through RPG Till next time take care of yourselves everybody I'm QuestWise and I am out